This time I will report from the Renji Hospital in Shanghai where there was an interesting meeting. So this is the famous skyline of Shanghai where we had an exciting IUM meeting and I will show you a little bit more from the outskirts of Shanghai and uh, I managed to find a very interesting interview partner. So around Shanghai there is a multitude of little villages built on the water like Venice of the East and we are in one of them. Um, it's a, a welcome change from the metropolis of Shanghai with its big buildings and bustling hustle and bustle and traffic. Oh hello, I'm here in Shanghai at the Renji Hospital and I'm here with Dr. Chi Hong who is a doctor in the traditional Chinese medicine department of the Renji Hospital, which is one of the major teaching hospitals in Shanghai. Dr. Chi Hong, I'm very happy to meet you here and I'm very happy to be in your beautiful city. Could you please tell me, in your opinion, what is the role of traditional Chinese medicine in the overall world of modern medicine? Mm, thank you. It's my pleasure to answer this question. Is that in my point of view, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, as my career, is an important part of the Oriental culture, and uh, which is not fully understood and discovered in the past. Past, but now I think it is on the way to be widely recognized and to be applied in all fields of the medicine. So, Dr. Chi, you know that I'm a urologist and I'm here yeah. for a urology meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you do treat urology patients, so yes, some. what would be the role of traditional Chinese medicine in urology in a nutshell? Uh, my major is mainly about acupuncture therapies. I think like acupuncture therapy now is provided to, how to say, prove to be effective in some of the urology disease like urine incontinence. And uh, there will be more promising aspects that be widely used in the future. So acupuncture traditionally in the West is thought as being a sort of pain therapy, right? Yeah. But you're saying you can even treat incontinence and other diseases, functional diseases maybe, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, this is very interesting. Yeah. Now, this kind of patient usually becomes a kind of routine for them after surgery. If they found that they with some problem like urine incontinence, they are unwilling to accept another surgery. They will come to acupuncture service as a kind of solution. So, Dr. Chi, do you have a message that you would like to send out in the world? Uh, I would like to see like this. Uh, now, interpreted medicine is a theme of all the people. Acupuncture and the traditional Chinese medicine, I think, is very promising in becoming a member of a very important part of the whole of interpreted medicine. And more and more Western people would like to have a deep and a profound understanding of this in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time and a real pleasure to meet you, Dr. Chi. Thank you. It's my pleasure to meet you too.